Uh, what's up guys, so welcome back. Uh, this week we're doing a mini road trip in the Z. Cass and Nate are far behind us. Well, not that far, they're actually like back there in the Fusion. Uh, Mason, do you want to show them where we're at? Like, I mean, we're in a beautiful area. So, the reason we're taking this mini road trip, um, it's not like to test the Z out or anything, it's just to have fun. Uh, but we're heading up to Jerome. Uh, today's Purge Day and we're playing Senior Water Tag. If you don't know what that is, Purge Day, anyone can get anyone with their water guns. It basically means you get out of the game. So, we're heading up north to get away from that, but we thought we'd make a fun little trip. So we're in the Z, vibrations are fucking loud, but doing a study 80, she feels fine, no check engine light, and all come wood that we don't have. Um, but yeah, do you want to talk about, are you excited about Like, I'm fucking tired. It is pretty early. Uh, did you tell her? No. Oh shit. Well, Mason didn't tell his girlfriend where we're going, so he's going to deal with that. But we thought he'd give you guys an update, and the road just got really shit. So, yeah, it's going good. So I'm actually reshooting this, um, the audio got all fucked up, uh, don't know why, it fixes itself uh, when I start talking about the cats underneath the car, or the lack of cats under the car, um, but I'm just putting this in there because obviously the clip that I recorded earlier is not there. So right now we're doing an oil change, we're washing the Z, uh, and then we'll get into what happened to the Z's bumper and all that, but just clarifying that, I know it'd be hard to follow if this wasn't here, so there you go. We put in high flow cats, right? And then we went to do test pipes, which is catless. Um, and if we get under here, you can take a look here and see. I'll try to show you guys the color shift on these bad boys. Look at that. See if it focuses. Crazy. So these were originally just all silver, but now they're gold. They got purple in them. You can definitely see where the majority of the heat's been hitting for when I pop and backfire, but it's pretty crazy. And there's the rest of the exhaust. If you guys are doing the Z exhaust, please, for the love of God, get Y pipes. It eliminates a lot of the rasp that you hear from a lot of these fucking VQ guys. Also, this is a DE, so it's not as loud as an HR, but you know, yin yang, whatever. Let me take a look at those. Damn. Also, these are Megan Racing test pipes. I'm not a huge Megan Racing advocate, but so far these things have held up really well, and I would highly recommend them for a good bang for your buck. And then if you look at here, this is where we kind of have an issue. Uh, there's oil. A little bit, a little bit of oil around the oil pan. Uh, the crush washer that we put on last time has failed, which is not good because that means I've been leaking oil without knowing. Um, so we're gonna fix that, clean this up. Hopefully, this does not occur again. Very bad, very bad, especially for a DE. DEs like to leak oil, uh, burn oil. Uh, they're just a more oil-consuming VQ uh, compared to the HR. Um, but yeah, new oil's in, all good, shroud's back on, um, here's the old filter, like I said, the oil doesn't really look that bad, guys, I mean, I abused the fuck out of this motor too, so yeah, it's black, but, you know, it's still got some transparency on the top, um, that's just for me dropping it in here because I don't really care, um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it could be worse, definitely dark, but not the worst I've seen from motors like this, so, not gonna complain, um, definitely good day or a good sign that this motor's doing right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start her up, crank her over, see how the oil pressure is. Hopefully, everything's all right. Um, and hopefully, nothing leaks. That's, that's also a big thing. So I'm gonna grab my keys and we'll do that. All right, here we go. All right, oil pressure. There we go. Not bad. We're gonna let her run for a little bit. Uh, as you can already see, the temp goes up so fast in this car because of how hot uh, Arizona is. But we're going to run for like two, three minutes, and then I'll check the uh, areas and see if there's any oil coming. But I doubt there is, you know. Shit's pretty easy. And there she is, boys, back in the garage. Look how shiny she looks. Damn. Nice and clean. I didn't film any of the cleaning process. That's on me, but I just myself today, so I didn't really want to do anything crazy. But dude, I mean, yeah, the paint's fucked on this thing. If you get close, you see all the swirls and shit. But like, damn, she looks good in good lighting. Alright, 
so you can't see the Z got hit. Um, I tucked the bump already, but it was bent out. Fender's bumped, uh, so this fender needs to get replaced. This needs to get replaced. Thankfully, the clear reflector is okay, which is dumb, but you know, small little things, right? We all got more curbed, I guess. All that sick. Light's fine, hood's fine. Bumper is fucked. Literally just happened. Uh, we were going to Jerome for a fun day, and my shit got hit. That's all I gotta say. I'll talk more about it when we're done. All right, so we're home. Um, if you can't tell by the last clip, I'm not in the greatest mood, but it's all right. Uh, basically, <sighs> let's talk about what happened. Um, we went to Jerome today, did a canyon blast, as you saw, uh, and this is the day after we did the oil change yesterday. Um, basically, great drive, super fun, car performed exceptionally well, uh, the car was in perfect condition actually as of this morning. Um, got there, parked the car, uh, I backed it up into a parking spot, put, pulled the brake because we're, Jerome's like a, a hillside town if you don't know, uh, put it in reverse so if it rolled forward or if, let's say e-brake filled or something, the car would stop and I didn't want to be in first because let's just say some weird shit happens, right? Someone hits me, and it's in first, and it goes up onto the curb. I don't want my transmission being fucked up. Not if I don't know if that could fuck it up from that much movement, but I'm just saying. So I left it in reverse. We went out, had fun around the town with my friends. Came back, and I turned the corner, or I turned around the back of the bumper. Uh, I mean, of the trunk. And I see my front fender just tweaked out like that. And my heart dropped, and I go, oh, someone fucking hit me. And sure enough, they did. Um, went up, front bumper's fucked. Uh, the fender has a dent in it. They hit my wheel somehow so hard that my steering wheel locked to the right. So my alignment's thrown off now. It pulls to the left, which fucking sucks because uh, the alignment wasn't cheap because of all the suspension components we've done to the car. So that sucked. Um, but on top of that, the guy was... Okay, as much as I utterly hate whoever hit my car, I have to give him some respect because I understand accidents happen. Uh, he left a note. He left his insurance. So insurance is taking care of it, but... Tomorrow the car is going down to the the body shop to get it checked out. I just want to put the body kit on, uh, get that painted and put on there because I would rather cash out, take the money, buy the kit, take it to the shop, have them paint it, put it on because it's going to be cheaper than OEM parts. OEM bumpers are dumb expensive for these cars or any car really. Um, so I can get a full kit for cheaper than what they're going to charge the shop. Um, but overall, the car is going to be okay. She's a little fucked up right now, <laughs> to be honest. But... Uh, Insurance is involved, it'll be okay, I'm pissed, but we live and we learn. You know what, the comeback's going to be better than before. Hopefully this car's going to look better afterwards, um, and all I can say is we're going to keep trying to finish it, but it sucks. I mean, shit happens like this, I keep trying to keep my head up high, you know, like shit happens. Uh, I'm uberly fucking <laughs> depressed about it, but... You know, it is what it is. Front bumper already had a crack in it when I bought the car, so maybe it's a sign. Maybe we're just moving on with stuff, so. Thanks for watching. If you take anything away from today, enjoy things while you can. Drive them hard. Have fun with your friends. Sometimes bad shit happens, but we'll come back from it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate every single one of you guys, um, especially to everyone who reached out on my Snapchat. You guys are awesome. So. Later. See you in the next week. Peace. I'm a nigga, dip, oh. 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 Oh.